everybody. Um, okay, so I, I, uh, I feel called to share a couple of experiences that I've been going through in the last few years. Uh, it's not easy to to share this because uh, it's not like you know very common. Uh, this started happening uh, a few years ago. I don't really know when, uh, like the year, you know, how many years. I remember I I had just finished um, the first time it happened because it happened. It has happened uh, quite a few times. The first time it happened. I remember I had just finished um, a very powerful meditation uh, that we did with a Tantra master. I was studying in Tantra at the time, like really um, seriously, like, you know, very, you know, Caroline as I continue. And we had just done um, this powerful meditation about, um, how do you say it in English, uh, like, you know, this, this, imagine that you have a wall and you go like, in, you know, perforation or whatever of the chakras, you know, like, so after that meditation, I had my, my, you know, my energy is very, very open. It's like, for example, when you have, I don't know if you guys have a, done a, a Reiki initi initiation, but afterwards they tell you to be really careful about uh, drinking alcohol or taking drugs or whatever. Um, I knew this, but somehow, stupidly enough, I didn't. You know, I didn't remember. He, the tantra master, ne never said anything about being careful uh, after the meditation. So I went to uh, bear with me because it, it might be a long story. I went to uh, my friend's house afterwards, and she was uh, throwing a party. I have never ever felt uh, the need to take drugs. I don't like the the taste of alcohol, and I don't drink alcohol. Not because I'm, you know, like oh, alcohol. No, it's just I don't like it. I don't like how it makes me feel, and uh, I've never felt the the urge to take drugs. And um, having um, gone through. Um, bulimia many many years I know I have a tendency to have a, a, this uh, addictive behavior so I thought you know if, if I if I touch drugs it will be you know my, my pitfall so I've never taken any drugs um, in the past when I was a teenager I might have um, tried uh, cannabis or but phew, I didn't I, I just I, you know drugs are not my thing but this, this girl was throwing a party and she didn't know how to roll the, the, the cigarettes and at the time uh, I, was, I had uh, quit smoking but I used to smoke and I used to smoke, you know, uh, joints rolling them. So she, she told me, can you please roll them like this cannabis joints so I can I have them there ready for the party and I said, yeah, okay. So I was rolling them and we were chatting and then, you know, you know how habits go. You know, like you have one in, in your in your in your fingers, and and I um, lit it, and I took a, a couple of packs, you say, whatever, and then suddenly I lost control of myself. Um, I completely lost it, and I was I remember I was sitting on a chair and. Uh, this energy like you know like my body was not my body anymore and I became a reptile I didn't know what the fuck was going on I didn't have any control whatsoever consciously over my mind my, my body what I was anything I was I, I completely lost it and I was feeling like I was a reptile and I was like what the fuck is this you know then I started uh, the reptile one was the first life, so I know now that how all my my evolution, you know, my uh, the cycle of uh, you know uh, dying and getting being reborn, and it's very 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 old. So it, you know, because it can't it gets back to to the the, the start of you know dinosaurs, and because I was I was a, a reptile, I was like I don't know the name, but I was one of them. Then I started reliving lives and it was 
very funny because you know there's always you can always find the the, the funny side of the movie. It's funny because I I was um, uh, an opera singer for so many lives, you know, and I've always had this this thing. My throat chakra has been always very very closed, and I have I I, I used to be very ashamed of, of my voice. I have no I have a very good ear. But then when it comes to singing, I once took singing lessons and then the teacher looked at me and he said, there's nothing I can do for you. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> but, you know, never mind. I started like belting out operas, you know, like, and you were at my friend's house and, and it was very, very scary because I, you know, honestly, I was like those mediums in, in uh, that you watch in TV, like, for example, I would go, oh, and then somebody, I would relieve a life, and I would be this opera singer, and I would sing, and I would, you know, feel everything on that life, and then, oh, I was gone, and then, oh, another life, and I used to be this monk in the, near the beach, and I used to feel like this, super, like, this feeling of peace inside myself like that one that life was really really one of my favorites really pay really peaceful and really uh, close to the sea and and then boop, i really i would be in another life and i would um rel relieve my my death being uh drowned and i would start to to like you know because i was dying you know I, so so i would start to scream and 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 I could see my friend there, like, really, like, shitting herself because she didn't know what was going on. And the, the fact is that in between these lives, I didn't, I wasn't going back to myself, you know. So it was very, very scary because I was relieving, I was relieving uh, births. And, but I was most of all relieving deaths, you know, being drowned, being strangled being like um tied and and uh, whipped and and oh you know like many many things i'm not gonna go into it but you know m meanwhile my friend was really shitting herself so she called the tantra master she called everybody on the course you know so this this uh, one of the guys from the course came to her house and he uh, he was an expert in chinese medicine and he started doing this this um movement in, 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 in my arms and then uh, after this I started coming back in between lives so this is really funny as well you know because I was like, I was like boop, you know living a life and then I would boop, and I would be Aida again and but I didn't know how how many seconds I would be Aida again before the next uh, life started so I would go Okay, I'm me, I'm me, I'm me. Uh, I'm fine. It, uh, uh, this is this is just I'm relieving really Lazarus, and and in the middle of my message to be make sure that my friend was okay and that she was uh, she could understand what was going through, I would go boop, and then another life would start and I could not finish the message. So it was very uh, confusing, you know, for her, for me, for everybody. So this process of starting lives uh, and in the middle coming back to being me myself but just for like a few seconds uh, lasted for about one hour or two hours i don't know because you know and for me it was very very interesting because um first of all now i cannot say that uh, past lives don't exist because i have experienced them also what i well, while i was experienced this this uh, things uh, I could also see the levels the layers of um, reality like the, the, the layers of um, I, how do you say it? Uh, yeah I could see one layer when I where I was experiencing the thing one layer where I could see the situation from the outside one layer where I could see the situation from my friend's perspective one layer in the future what I was like recounting the story to other people and telling them what was going on like there were so many realities about, around me and it was, this was so surreal you know but it was at the same time so real because I could see how, how uh, they, they, they you know it, there's a connection they, they, they go through the mouth and, and in, the, in the heart like they come and they go like boop, and then 
when they go out, they go out always through my mouth, and uh, you know, they, they, and yeah, it was, you know, it was great for me because it gave me, you know, the, the absolute certainty that time and space are not real, absolute certainty that, that uh, past lives are real, and but also, uh, it made me have a very uncomfortable, uh, you know, experience with, with because you know I I completely understand my my friend got that was really really, and the neighbors uh, called the police because I was because I was dying I was I was shouting so much and thank God I have you know a lot of protection from upstairs you know. And uh, when uh, the minute I, I was, you know, I was starting to to realize that it was it was that my lives were getting to a close, and I told my friend, "Don't worry, I've got like only two or, or three left. It's getting it's it's stopping here." And when they stopped, 15 minutes later, the police came to the to the house. But I was already like me myself, you know, I was calm, you know, as calm as you can be, having lived through all this, but I was, you know, conscious and, and, you know, aware of my body functioning well, and yeah, the police just came, we told them that uh, we had smoked a joint and whatever, and, and they just left, but uh, this situation uh, was the start of, of um, you know, the pitfall of our relationship, uh, it was never again, uh, never the same again with, with my friend and uh, it was very very traumatic for me not because uh, of the things I lived because I actually enjoyed it kind of not enjoyed it but it was a very very good experience for me but seeing how this experience uh, was lived by other people uh, was very very traumatic for me because I've always been very very careful not to hurt other people not to you know so for me seeing my friend's eyes and seeing what she was going through uh, as i was living that was very very painful so this was the first experience so i learned not to touch drugs i, I, I didn't drink i didn't smoke any weed not that i normally did but i knew now that it was very very dangerous for me at that time, I didn't know I was an indigo. At that time, I didn't know I was a medium. At that time, I didn't know I was a channel. I didn't it, no fucking shit, you know. I, it was just like boom, and it, like this start in my life. Then I had to like you know, time went on, and and I uh, this was like a, a year and a half later, or maybe t even two years. And um, I was still, you know, doing courses and, and on the spiritual path. And um, I signed up for this uh, solstice ceremony back there in, in Spain, where I thought just, I've always liked uh, uh, magic, you know, white magic, uh, sitting down with the moon and, and uh, the, the days, you know, like solstices and things like that. So I signed up for this this um, experience, and uh, I wanted to share the the solstice energy with other people. And I went there, and and um, we were going to spend the whole night like chanting and and all uh, in this room with a sacred geometry, and and you know we had the sleeping bags and everything, and we uh, we were having uh, chocolate cacao. And in the, in the, I didn't know, you know, that's why I signed. I didn't know that we were going to have Amanita Muscaria, which is the, the this uh, mushroom, the red mushroom with white uh, spots, you know, that you all uh, know from from the, the cartoons, you know, the, the Pitufos, I don't know how the, the name in, in, in English, but this is a very famous, and it's also a, an allusion, hallucinating uh, mushroom so uh, we had it with the and I was fine I was not but I started to relax you know in that kind of uh, atmosphere and somebody was having a joint uh, beside behind be besides me 
and uh, she asked me at one second, I'm gonna go to the toilet, can you hold it for me? And again, have it, you know, I had the, I had it in my fingers, I was waiting for her to come out of the toilet and I went like this. One, I swear to God, one. And then again, like, boom, you know, like, then I, like, I, I rose to my feet and there was this magnet, this powerful magnet that, that, that this force that took my back and I went, whoosh, like in, like in the movies, like in Matrix or something, like, whoosh, and it just pulled me back and I was like, you know, doing this, I could not control my body anymore. And then I, I went like, boom, like I was stuck to this guy that was also in the ceremony that I haven't, I hadn't even talked to him, you know, because we were like 20 or 25 people there. I hadn't talked to everybody. I didn't know anything about him. I didn't know him at all. And then uh, he just, like, I, I kind of fainted and he took me in, in his arms and he uh, took me to the, to the room. And I started believing this was, this time was more complicated than the first time because three things were happening at the same time. Three things. Like, I was reliving past lives again, one. I was reliving a past love story with this guy that I, need, that I didn't even know anything about. And, and it was very, very, very embarrassing. Because, you know, I relieved, um, you know, like, oh, like, super, super beautiful, you know, like the first kiss and conversations you know the first date and going for a walk and blah 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 the first time that we make love and of course I was reliving it in my body and when I had an orgasm like a huge super powerful orgasm I was orgasm in front of 25 people that you know I didn't know anything about you know and I just didn't have any control over, over my body because it was not Aida it, I was reliving something that ha happened whenever, I don't know when, between this guy and myself. And it was very, very embarrassing because I could not do anything about it. I was just reliving the experience. And the third thing that happened, the most scary of all, is was uh, it, I started uh, speaking in languages that I don't know, like I, I do that a lot now, like even more consciously. And uh, this Arabian man, like, you know, like a man, like, oh, this energy of, of, came into me, and he didn't want to leave, he was there, like, and, and they were asking him questions, like, who are you, and I was like, I am, whatever, you know, and what are you doing, oh, 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 I'm like, and he was bad, he was a bad energy, you know, and he was inside of me, using my body, using my voice to express the things that he wanted to express, and, and I was like, completely, powerless you know and um, yeah it's just um, I'm sharing this and I don't want to make the, the video really long and I'm, I will share more things I'm sharing this because I now know that I am an indigo and I know that I am a medium I now know I'm I am a very clear channel I have the ability to channel to, and, and I you know when I go into trance I can speak in languages that I don't know and have visions and but I didn't know anything at the time and it just and I don't know anything now you know you don't go to university to learn how to be a, a medium or a channel and you just learn by experience you know and some of those experiences like this that, that I'm sharing now are very very traumatic you know because to be quite honest I was so ashamed of everything that happened that night that the next morning because everybody was pissed off at me you know because I, I ruined the the ceremony for everybody I was I was like out of, out of it I had lost it I was like shouting when I was dying uh, orgasm when I was making love to this uh, guy I was being this this Arabic man uh, you know speaking with this voice I was speaking in other languages imagining that the the situation, the atmosphere, and uh, at the, all the time, all these people, these twenty-five people, were like lying there on their on their uh, sleep bags, you know, watching me and and judging me, of course, you know, and 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 like completely uh, shitting themselves, you know, because like you know, normal, I'm not I'm not judging them or anything, 
and this was very very traumatic not once again not because of what happened to me because i was like you know living it and 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 i kind of knew because i it had it had happened to me once more that what was going on everything but for watching how my experience affected to other people around me was very and the next morning i woke up and i had this um, temptation of just disappearing you know just taking my car and then and disappearing but i was like no I, uh, you have to take responsibility for your actions you have to take responsibility for the way how you want to live your life have co coherence with you and with other people so uh, we were having breakfast the next morning and I, st I stood up in the middle of the dining room and I said, listen, I'm really sorry about what happened last night. I, of course I didn't do it on purpose. I hope that you realize that uh, I don't control any of this. And uh, uh, also I hope you realize that if it had happened to you, to any of you, I would have had to... Uh, to to breathe, you know, to 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 yeah, to breathe through it, the same that the same that you had to, to breathe through the situation with me, and um, yeah, you know, these things happened, and I'm really sorry. I take responsibility for I, what I can take responsibility, but it's not like I did this to uh, to ruin your your night. It just happened, and I hope you understand it. And I sure know that if it had happened to you, I would be pissed off, but I would understand it. Because I know that some things we don't control. And we are all in this uh, spiritual community and we come here to, to share these things. And we all know that, that you know, behind, behind, beneath, above the veils, there are many, many more things. And, you know, that was, that was a very, very traumatic. So I'm gonna stop here because there's been more things. But I felt the need to share this because I know there are many people out there that are also indigos, empath, hypersensitive mediums, and maybe they are now in that stage of their lives where strange things are uh, starting to happen to them and they are as confused and as as I am, I'm still what the fuck, you know, I'm like, my, my gifts are developing more and that's why, what, that's one of the reasons why I came to live in Bali, in, in Ubud, the, the city of the third, the third eye, because I once, I, I believe that it, uh, if Spirit gave me these gifts, I have to use them for other people, I have to use them for good, I have to use, I have to work for the light, I have clear audience as well, and the first clear sentence I uh, listened to in, in my head was make sure that you always follow the light and that's what I'm doing I'm following the light I'm following the guidance from the universe and I'm sharing this with you guys to help you to, you know if, if I hope this video uh, goes to to the people that resonate with it to the people that are now in their lives in a in need to listen to what I've shared and uh, if you uh, feel the need to reach out to me and to have a, a coaching session with me uh, so we can you know uh, see what's going on in your life and how can I help you with that I will be very very honored because I don't think this is happening to me for because of nothing I, I think everything happens for a reason and I have now been called to step into service and to help other sensitive people, mediums, uh, gifted people to navigate their gifts and to, and I, I understand you, I know how hard it is to live in this 3D world being uh, gifted like this and, and having these experiences and um, I really really want to help you. And uh, yeah, yeah. So um, namaste, everybody. I will have a, a part two of, of this video to to keep going.